Welcome back to another The Angler video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be covering a guide on how to catch trophy late trout on Golden Ridge Reserve. We're going to be covering everything as usual, from the tackle we're using to the hook sizes, right through to the hotspot, guys. So you lot can get out there and try and catch one of these absolute gigantic monsters for yourself. I hope you enjoy. If you do, consider subscribing to the channel. Check out our array of hotspot guides on the channel. We nearly got every, every species done now for Golden Ridge Reserves. Um, drop a little like on the video leave a little comment let me know who's got a diamond late trout so far in the game guys and sit back and enjoy it. and i hope this video helps and i catch you all in stream next time Peace. right going through our uh, um, setup that we're going to be using for the late trout super simple it's my best rod and reel that i've got which is the grahia and the mediator with the 55 pound braid and i'm using a two hot jig head with a worm that's um the correct size for the hook so you can see there it says the hook minimum is two hot hook max is four out so you want to make sure you're buying the right jig for the right jig head so it says there what it takes it says two up minimum four up max so just make sure i've got two up hooks so it fits really nicely and then we're going to sh shoot over now and show you the spoon setup that we're also going to be using today right guys for the spoon setup very very similar to the um jigging setup we've got but this time we're going to use a one up spoon just to kind of try and get some late trout rotating through just for the purpose of this video but that's not saying we're not going to catch a trophy because you can still catch a trophy on a smaller hook so for the spin setup the same again the grahir the mediator the 55 pound braid and we're using a size one hot spoon for this one guys now let's get out there to the first hot spot and see if we can't get something landed right guys to start with so what we're going to do is we're going to talk through the hook sizes very very quick for the late trout we have got a hook guide on the channel that covers every single species on golden ridge reserve if you would like to check that out um but covering the late trout ones now for a gold late trout you would need a size one or spoon or jig head or um yeah a jig head or a spoon at a size one hot hook um same for a two hot hook that would be your golds and diamonds and i think a four hot hook will only catch diamonds guys for the late trout but if you are wanting to catch like silvers golds and diamonds just to keep a few more fish rotating through you'd want a size one hook so a, 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 just a one hook would catch you your silvers golds and diamonds right guys i'll arriving at the first location we're going to start off jigging so i would do the jigging is i'm casting out my jig and i'm letting it sink right down to the bottom of the lake and while it's sinking let me just show you what i refer to constantly always refer to your handbook it's there to help us guys and if you go into the lake right, it tells you exactly what these guys like spoons spinner crankbaits i know i'm using the jig but it's known within the community that jigging for the lake trout is really efficient so we are going to get out here now after referring to the handbook let the oh it's hit the bottom in fact now and all that i'm going to do is i'm going to do a i'll do it at a two speed hold the space button down and you'll start jigging and reel at the same time so reel and hold the space button down on pc i do not know what the button is on console guys but you can see the rod goes up and down you can manually manually do manually do this on console as well so let's just see if we can't get anything to grab oh there we go straight into one straight into one straight into one here we go here we go straight into one let's see what we can't get from this spot i would love to get a nice fish oh it's having it these lake trout put up such a good fight and this is on a grit here as well with 55 pound braid and the mediator reel these lake trout i'm telling you some of the best fighting fish in the game let's see if we can't get him in so like i was saying just constantly refer back to your handbook it's there to help us it gives you everything you need to know it tells you the habitats for the fish the preferred baits it tells you all sorts guys the traits of the fish this what this one's a bottom lurker so that's why i've let the jig sink right down to the bottom it's there to help us guys so make sure you're constantly referring back to your handbook this is just holding me on the bottom i can't move this thing there we go we're getting some on it now it'll only be a silver this as well a bit just put the drag up to 65 there it's still taking line at 65 drag that's crazy this has got to be a 30 pound late trout surely it's got to be i'd be shocked if this is only like a 20 pound late trout these are an excellent fighting fish and i can imagine they're extremely good for xp and cash as well let's see what he is when he pops his head up he's here somewhere where are you buddy get your head up and again he's pulling drag at 65 percent this guy Get your head up, mate. Let me see what you are. Let me see you, bud. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ooh, steady. He's taking a touch of drag. That's crazy how hard these pull, you know. Crazy how hard these pull. Let's 
Oh. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a big boy. Is it not? Is that just a silver as well? What a beauty of a fish. I think it's just a silver, is it? <gasps> what? No way. Bro, that's a first fish. <gasps> Literally my first fish of the... Let's go, guys. First fish in the first spot with the first cast. What? Do you know, I've done a, quite a few of these hotspot guides now and I've never caught a diamond while doing the videos. That's crazy. Let's go. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Let's go, guys. Right, let me show you this location. We'll move on to the next location after that. There's no need to fish this location anymore. It just proves how good of a spot this is. Right, guys. So the lo location where I found that, I don't know what's just happened. The location where I found that thing is literally the the known um, lake trout location. Starter outpost is here. Just south of the starter outpost, there's a trailhead called Backfoot Basin. And we're literally just out in this little bit of a hollow here, as you can see. There is a jetty, so the, the the jetty there for the boat is there, and we're up against this boy here. And all that I've been doing is just casting this jig out. That, well, casted this jig out, let it hit the bottom once, and reeled it back up, which is crazy stuff. So I suppose we should move on to hotspot two. This video is going to be super short now because of that. But yeah, let's move on to the hotspot number two, guys. Got a fish on at the second location, guys. This is I've had two casts, and this fish has ended up jumping onto the exact same setup that I had the diamond on earlier on it took me a little bit to get up here i've never fished this location before which is nice so we're gonna have a few chucks around it just see how good it is but this is second cast of this fish i think it's only a little silver the exact same setup as before i might try the spoon at this spot if i can get this guy up i might have a little mess about with the spoon at this spot after a few more chucks with this um jig head a very nice silver 95 xp and how much cash do we get for this 183 cash very very good for your xp and your money this very good Right, we'll try this side of the boat. We'll let it sink down just a little touch. And while I am over here, I just want to give a big shout out to the guys in the official Discord server for the angler that have put this amazing spreadsheet together. And if you guys are ever interested in wanting to know where these spots are, uh, the good spots for the fish, the hook guide for him, the bait guide for him, everything you need to know. If you join the official Discord, there's some guys in there that have worked their socks off putting these spreadsheets together. And I swear by them spreadsheets. So definitely big shout out to the guys in the official Discord server. And if you haven't already, it's definitely worth joining, guys. We've got one on the jig. Let's see Let's see the difference if we put a spoon on. So what you do to change your rod over, I go into there, into my rods, and I click on lure spinning instead of jigging. I put the same rod on, Grahir Media to 55 pound. And then I'm, in fact, going to put a one-hot spoon on here and just see if we can't catch out on a one-hot spoon. I'm not going to let it sink all the way down. I'm probably going to let it sink a little touch. It's not too deep here, you see. And then I'm just going to slowly reel that back in and see if we can't get them, a few of them on the spoon because it says the spoon's the top bait for these guys, even though I've set a diamond on the jig. There we go. There's something at the back there. There's something chasing it. That might be another rainbow, though. I'm hoping it's a late trout. Get it, mate. It looks like a late trout. It's got a pointy tail, I think, at the back. There we go. It's only a small one if it is. If it is a late trout, this. Hmm. Get up, buddy. Let me see what you are. I don't, I don't have a clue what this thing is. I think it's a late trout. Just a small one. It is, in fact, I can see its tail. There we go. Just a little late trout. Super nice. Little bronze. Little bronze late trout. So this spot is... I've only had a few cats here. I wanted to try with a spoon a little bit more. I was struggling on the jig while we're just talking. I might as well cast that one more time and reel it back in. So from, from me fishing this location only for a few minutes, bear in mind this is only for a few minutes, I would recommend the first location to try first if you're targeting trophy um, lake trout. But definitely come and give this try this spot a go, and I would love to see what you guys get from this area. I would be really interested to see if someone does get a trophy from up here. And I'll just reel this spoon in, and then I'm going to show the location. I don't think there's anything following it. Oh, there is something at the back there. Something at the back. Here we go. One more fish. There we go. He's into it. That's another late trout. So the spoon works. Just reeling it on the surface up here, which is super nice to know. So I'm just casting that spoon out, just reeling it across the surface in the lake. Because it's the lake shallower than the first spot. Oh, it's a rainbow. The fish seem to be coming up and striking it a lot better than being 90 foot down trying to find it. 
There's a rainbow. Yeah, there's a rainbow. Nice. There could be some nice rainbow in this lake, you know. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Right, so the location for this spot for the lake trout and where we've got these few rainbow trout is the start route post is here. And I'm way over here to the far west in this little skinny island. In this, the, the river runs into this lake. I don't think it gets out. Of the, no, it doesn't get out of the other side. So I'm in that area there. Down here, guys. So the first location where we had the diamond was here. I put a marker there so I know that I've had one from there. There we go. So that's the location of the first one. And now this is a spot that in the official Discord server says it's a good spot for trophy lake trout, guys. And if you did enjoy that kind of content on the angling, you're still sat here listening to me. Drop a little sub on the channel. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Join our Discord. The weekend league's nearly here. We're going to start again. Um, more importantly, enjoy the rest of your night, guys. And I'll catch you all in stream next time. Best of luck, tight lines out there. Let me know what you've got. Peace.